now we are going to talk about some economic terminology before we move to another topic. So, first is we are going to talk about opportunity cost and also sunk cost. Opportunity cost is, is the value of best alternative foregone. Fine. Let us take, it is not very clear from the definition, but let us take some example. Currently, you are studying at IIT Kanpur, I do not know the exact fee that you pay. Let us assume that you pay per semester 25,000 rupees. Okay? Am I right? How much do you pay? 44, 44. Let us keep it at 48, means 4,000 rupees per month you pay. The second is of course, you have to pay for mess and let us say that you pay 2000 rupees per month, fine. And let us say you need books and other items, for the other items you are spending 1000 rupees per month. What is your cost of education? Because I have deliberately I have moved you in this direction. Do you think it is exactly 7? It, it is of course, with these assumption, do you think it is 7000 rupees per month? More than 7000. It is more than 7000? Why it is more than 7000? Do not say that you did not include some other expenses, <laughs> you know like you did not include the football that you bought last month. I am not, I am assuming that this covers your tuition fee, this covers your leaving charges and this covers remaining item, the money that you spend on remaining items. So, 7000 rupees per month, would you still say it is more than 7000? Yes. Why? Because instead of stu studying over here, we might have worked somewhere okay. or we might have done some other thing. But no one works, particularly in our country, no one at you know mm, so most. So, the services we, are not included here. What kind of services? Uh, like the facilities we are provided on, uh, like the external factors like. No, I am talking about, I am not talking about what is provided to you, I am talking about the cost that you incurred, because you are studying in IIT Kanpur and that this 1000 includes all the other costs. So, then if we do not work then leisure cost? Huh? Leisure? <laughs> Never. But the idea is that it is a different thing that we do not if you do not work that is fine, but what you could do see come back to this best alternative for gone. So, for different people it would be different mm. for it may be let us say for him that if he is not in the IIT he would have started his own business and he again we do not know for certain, but expectation is that he would earn 50,000 rupees per month because he has some experience, he has some family business, his contribution would be 50,000 per month for his family. So, now because he is studying here, he is not earning this 50,000 rupees. Okay? So, his cost would be total 7,000 and this 50,000 and this is the opportunity cost that we are not including here in the cost. Fine. For example, let us say you do not have any business, if you were not here, you would have not studied at all. The best alternative for you would have been to sleep in the daytime, play some games and not earn anything. So, your opportunity cost is 0, because you would not have earned anything. So, again see it is it's not explicit in the sense, it is implicit and it depends on the what is the second best available to you. You selected this because this was the best available to you. 
So now you have to look at the second best and what is the value of that second best that you have to figure out and that is your opportunity cost, fine. So it varies, it depends on the person, okay, is it clear, okay. So let us take an example, another example, again made up example, not perfect example, but made up example. Let us say he has, you know, at present he has two different options available, one that he can work for me, you know, I have some research assistance work that I can give and I can pay him, let us say 500 rupees for day work today, fine, that is one example. Second thing that he can do today, although we do not have any cricket match, but let us say that today we have India versus Pakistan match and what he can do is to watch, watch this cricket match. Fine. And let me give you two scenarios that in scenario A that he has selected to work for me. What is his opportunity case in this case and in the second scenario is that he decided to watch the match. What is his opportunity cost in for case. watching this cricket match? Uh, 500. 500. Okay. So, in this case if he watches the match and we are assuming this is the only other option he had, in that case his opportunity cost is 500 rupees, but how about here? Zero. Zero? Zero? Considering there is no value of leisure. Mm -hmm. But it is not leisure, it is pleasure. There is a difference between leisure and pleasure. His, if he works for me the second best is that he would watch this cricket match and there is some value associated with that cricket match. What we know that it is definitely less than 500 rupees, but how much we do not know, but the opportunity cost is simply the value he associates with the, with the cricket match, with watching the, with watching this cricket match. So, you see you have to figure out the second best alternative and that would be your opportunity cost, the value of that alternative. Is it clear? Perfectly clear? Yes. 